Hey everybody, we'll be talking now about bandit tricking in this video, basic things and a bit more advanced, just like the barricade guide past week. There are English subtitles in the bottom and timestamps in the description. Before everything, head on on settings, controls and put the gadget deployment on advanced, which will allow you to stop placing and taking a particular gadget which includes bandit charts. Let's first see what is bandit tricking. In theory, it is placing the bandit charge by the wall once you feel and or hear attackers trying to open the wall. For an example, on the following clip you will be able to see Termite trying to open the wall on the right side but bandit will place his bandit charge on the right side of the wall in order to destroy it. Let's jump on the clip. As you could see on the clip, Bandit successfully denied Termite opening the garage wall, wasted one of the exit army charge, so he has only one lead, which is especially powerful on most of the maps. And most importantly is, attackers did not open an additional line of sight towards the room that was Bandit tricked. Bandit tricking is actually not that hard to learn. It takes one custom game with a friend of mine to actually see how does it work. All what you have to do is open bigger side of the hole in the middle of the two reinforcements, and preferably a whole line, and then reinforce the wall. You can ask Smoke to do that. Or just hit fire with MP7. Reinforce the walls and stay in the middle of the walls. The reason of you opening the wall is that you will easier hear attackers through the reinforcements, as one layer of the wall was destroyed. Now you will see the difference. Now, to bandit trick, you rely on your headsets. Therefore, there are some other factors which I will note later on, but let's keep it as basic as possible for now. You want to hear when and where is Thermite placing his charge. That is the reason of you being in the middle. How to hear him? Well, when you hear this noise, that is him taking the exothermic charge. And when you hear this noise, that means he's placing an exothermic charge by the wall. Either way, you have more than enough time to place your bandit charge. Now it is up to you to hear if it is on the right and the left side. The best way to practice it is to do it with yourself. Ask a friend of yours to blow up a wall and you have to bandit trick him. It is very simple, believe me. So, when you hear the exothermic charge being placed on the wall, Place the bandit charge accordingly. Once you did it, immediately take the bandit charge to your hands so EMP does not destroy it. Never go with TV when bandit tricking. Night mode beats for a very tiny bit hiffy, but the difference is irrelevant. Now, when you know what bandit tricking is, let's see why was it invented. This is a very important topic as there are a lot of wrong assumptions regarding the counters. So Teacher and Thermite are the best buddies, because they, theoretically, can open every single wall. To counter that, people thought, why not placing the body charge just after I hear the exothermic charge being on the wall? That way, EMP won't destroy the charge. Or if it does, you will probably destroy with the bandit charge the exothermic charge. So, bandit tricking was invented to counter EMP and exothermic charge. Thatcher is not a counter against the bandit tricking. Alright, 
Now, you as an attacker want to deny the bandit to bandit trick. Here are some counters. Thermite Juggle. This won't work against average bandit trickers. Will work against new bandit players. Thermite Juggle is placing your exothermic charge by the wall, holding it a bit and then immediately placing it on another wall. As you can see on the clip, you want to do this as quick as possible to transition. So place an exotermy charge by one wall to closest to the middle. So hold the F button for a second, stop and move to another wall. In placing another wall, make sure your charge does not touch the middle of the wall, as bandit charge will destroy it then either way. B. Let's use an example of order. Lockers. You want to open the lockers wall which is already badly charged. Whilst it is badly charged through an EMP and in the same time let Termite place his exothermic charge on the wall. That way, Termite will take a bit of damage but Bandit will have no time replacing the charge. The wall should be open but there is a but. We will go in the but in a bit more advanced part of the video. C. Hibana. Hibana can shoot with her Xkeros in the middle of the wall and immediately activate it. Not immediately, but you will see later why. That way, Bandit has to put the charge on both reinforcements, but there is not enough time. There is another but here, which again will go in a bit more advanced. Make sure to do it in a way so you can use the newly opened hole in order to open the wall fully to deny the bandit to bandit trick again. Or even, you can bait him out and open it a bit higher with a frag grenade coming up once he's ready to bandit trick exothermy charge. D. Maverick totally kills the bandit tricking. Next counters will be situational. Number 1. Capito. With Capito you can guarantee open a particular walls, for example on Chalet Snowbill Garage. There is a drone on the left side. You will want to shoot a capital bolt through it, and it will pretty much kill anyone on the other side of the left reinforcement. Another but yet to be said. Number 2. Zofia. Zofia concussion mines can stop any animation, which includes putting the bandy charge. For an example, Let's head on border trying to open the triple office fall that is usually the first mission in the ESL and higher tier games when attacking archives and lockers. Zofia should be by the E stairs, shooting through the hole on the top of the wall and hitting the bandit. Make sure to use both concussion mines, one in the process of Termite placing the charge on the wall and the other one when Termite is activating his gadget. Since the interval of Thermite placing the charge, exploding in and Bandit placing the charge is in between 2 and 3 seconds, placing Thermite charge and exploding takes around 0.2 seconds longer than placing the Bandit charge, these two concussed mines should do the work. Number 3. Flashbangs and Candelas. Obviously, what Flashbangs or Candelas are doing is flashing the Bandit trigger so he does not know which wall he is banditing. It is important to know that even if flashbangs EMP leaves the bandit, he still can clearly hear where Thermite is putting the charge. But when he is flashed, he won't know where he is located, therefore he might even die if trying to guess which wall he is currently pointing at. Number 4. Frags. Obviously the same reason as flashes and candelas. Number 5. Vertical Play. For an instance, Consulate. You can use Ash Zofia while repelling by the piano windows. Or even by the yellow skylight to deny the bandit bandit tricking. Number 6. Nomad. This one is a bit tricky to hit, but it, it is possible.
Number 7. Placing exothermic charge next to a wall or above it, or on the floor, next to the floor that you want to destroy it. It is time to explain three buts. The first one was at the location of border lockers, but instead we will go in the skyscraper Geisha. It was listed in counters as in B, which said, if there is a bandit charge by the vault for an EMP, it takes longer EMP to activate than termite to place his charge, and whilst EMP is on the floor, like wait a half a second with termite or even less, place the exothermic charge on the bandited wall. Termite will be damaged a bit, but the charge will be put and Bandit will have no time to put the charge. There is actually a way to counter this as Bandit, which requires you a bit of practice and you can also hear and sometimes even see the blue light for the reinforcement of the EMP grenade. Immediately when you see an EMP going off, shoot out your own Bandit charge and place another one. That way, you will still be able to Bandit trick the wall. The second but was Hibanda placing her X arrows in the middle of the wall. Well, it is obviously possible to counter it because Jonas from G2 by the clubhouse did that several times on the CCTV walls. There are two ways to counter it. The one is dependent on the luck and the feeling, which is when you feel place a Benny charge, if you didn't get anything, take the charge immediately and wait for another feeling. However, the other way is actually to listen to the following sound. That is Hibana shooting her X arrows on the wall. That means the two things will happen. The enemy team will most likely use the middle X arrows. Or they will use a pair of X arrows on the side of the wall and on the other side of the wall an exothermic charge. So you can either wait for an X arrow sound or exothermic charge sound and then place immediately the bandy charge. You are relying here on the sounds. You have enough time to put the bandy charge on both walls while Sibana is detonating her X arrows on the middle. Now we will see the perspective of bandy tricker tricking the X arrows on the middle wall. And let's see the perspective of Hibana doing that. However, if Hibana has less pair of Xeros, then she can be a bit quicker than you actually putting the second exothermic charge, and then you are in the problem. And now see the difference when Hibana has just one Xeros left. And as you could see, Hibana can activate her Xeros quicker because she doesn't have to reload the last bullet. Well, in case she has just one left Xeros, then you will have to rely on your game sense and putting the bandy charge before she actually deploys the x arrows on the wall. Also, the issue can be Termite and Hibana. You want to aim for the Termite charge prior to x arrows, as Exothermic charge will blow quicker than x arrows, a lot quicker. Also, do not be afraid of the EMPs, as they can get your charge only and only if they are deployed on the ground, else if they are in your hands, they are very safe. In short, you can deny Hibana Xeros in the middle, both walls, if reacted correctly. Issue, Hibana having the last pallet and Hibana and Termite combo. Aim for the Termite, in that case. The last bat was about Capitao situational counter. Well, if you place the shield well, let's go back to the snowbill example, the shield will block fire to expand onto the bandit tricker. And the last part of the video will be examples of the bandit tricking. Since I have said everything what I wanted to say, let's talk about the common walls to be bandit tricked across the most ranked maps. They will be put alphabetically. Border. Locker's double door. Works best with a hand of smoke by the hull desk, as he can push out and stall attackers trying to push out bandit. Make sure to open here a little hole so you can even watch the main lobby. Counters. 
vertical play is off your air from outside or frag grenades. Glass pushing through the smoke to kill the bandit, but that's why you are putting the smoke by the half desk. Chalet Snowmobile Garage Recommended to place a pre-placed bandit chair on the right wall, as Capitao can easily deny you putting the chair on the right wall. ADSS would be nice to have since there is a drone hole and shield as explained in one of the bots. Counters Vertical play from fireplace, grenades and capito. Clubhouse Triple wall by church Counters Frag grenades on the top Line of sight on the kitchen hallway is towards church which includes capito. can be denied from Capito from far back in the new blue. Also, it's a bit harder to throw a frag grenade on the top of the reinforcements if you are reinforcing it from the hallway toward the church and not the reverse because of the red thingy on the top. CCTV exterior walls. Recommended to place a barricade by the door so you cannot get concussed by Zofia. Counters. Capito. Frag grenades on the CCTV window or underneath. Vertical play from lunch. Jacuzzi wall recommended to bring castle by the gym door, as the biggest counter is the gym window. Counters, gym window, and grenade from the pool. Consulate. Triple garage walls recommended to have a dedicated person watching the yellow stairs. Also, it is recommended to pre-place a bandit charge or even two by the right north walls. And bandit trick only the left one. Reasons. Vertical play is a huge counter as explained in the previous paragraph. You do not want to be picked off if they have the vertical angle onto you. And bandit tricking to the left means you are in a safe corner. Another counter is the yellow stairs. Hereford. Prep area. Counters, none. Kitchen double door towards garage. Counters, vertical play. Cafe, double wall in piano. Recommend not to bandit trick once you get one exerts or termite charge. Bandit tricking is easily deniable by the windows. Oregon, not common but ethic double wall towards the watchtower. Especially useful when playing in kids and you're playing in watchtower, retreating through the pre-open rotation in the attic and reinforcing the rotation. It is usually done in the ESL. Recommended to have an ADS there because of the attic window and the counters are frag grenades, vertical play from meeting. Outback, double games wall. Recommended to have a person dedicated watching the bull doorway. Counters. Glass pushing through, frag grenades and vertical play from the kitchen. Triple compressor to the kitchen walls. Counters, vertical play from office. It's recommended to have at least one bandit charge on one of the walls. Skyscraper. Geisha. Recommended to open the Geisha hatch and the ADS where you can force the ADS not being wasted as in the shown in the previous top 10 tips video. Hunters, vertical play from the kitchen, and that's the reason why you're open the Geisha hatch, not to make Buck or any other attacker playing vertically comfortable in the kitchen. Be aware of a cooked grenade from underneath. Theme park, not a common bomb site. Triple gargoyle wall. Hunters, vertical play from closet on the second floor. Villa, aviator and games room wall towards the study. Hunters. Vertical play and a frag grenade from above. Statuary triple walls towards the bedroom. Recommended to have an ATS against the frag grenades from above and as well as the grenade from the roof as shown on one of the Buck Lanusite videos a long time ago.
Exotomic charge could be placed by the floor to bypass the bandy charge by the wall. Can work with the vault wall as well. Dining room double vault over the laundry. Recommended to have an ADS versus frag grenades from a bow. Counters. Vertical play.